Deb, I keep looking at this. I, I want to add this to the Armor um, dividend portfolio. This looks like a clear double bottom building at a higher level. The trigger for me, Deb, is going to be a breaking of the downtrend. I don't like to buy any asset uh, where I feel like I'm catching a falling knife. So it keeps going down, down, down. So I draw a line like this. And by the way, we use Armor algorithms, right? So we don't have an algo entry point. The entry point will happen when this thing pops up like that, breaking the downtrend. I never, Deb, I never want to buy the ultimate low because obviously nobody knows the ultimate low except for in retrospect. And so if I keep thinking I'm buying the ultimate low, I keep losing money as it keeps going lower. So I look for structure. I look for bottoming wedges. And then I look for that first day or two of institutional flows of capital, meaning volume, driving price higher. When that happens, I'll add at and to my um, dividend portfolio because I personally believe one of two things is going to happen, Deb. Number one, it's a scary high dividend because everybody expects them to cut it. So the day they cut it, I mean, you can write this down and call me on it if I'm wrong. Okay, give me some room. The week that they cut it, the price of AT&T stock will be higher, not lower. The day they cut it could be a knee-jerk reaction, sells it off. But by the end of that week, the price will be higher. Anybody who's short the asset will cover on the news. Okay? And when they cut the dividend, what they'll probably do, so I've seen this happen over and over again, is they'll be announcing some type of restructuring package to reinvigorate growth and you'll get new investors that come in on that. So it won't just be, oh God, things are so terrible. We're cutting the dividend. It'll be, here's our new path to profitability and we're going to cut the dividend and use this to do that. And they'll, it, it will be a, a moment of bottoming of the stock. So what's the risk down here is what I'm saying to myself. If management is able to deliver on a turnaround and continue to pay the dividend, well, then we lock this thing in at an eight plus percent yield for the rest of our lives. That would be sick. That'll be an unbelievable win-win because the stock will go up and we'll have the dividend. And if they cut the dividend, by the end of the week, the stock's probably up. I just don't see what the risk is. So I'm just waiting for a turn to show me that support's coming in and then I'll, I'll put that in the portfolio. 